Hi everyone and welcome to this video. My name is John Jardine and I'll be showing you a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to implement a view picklist custom control into one of your X pages. In this example I'll be referencing a view inside my database and I will be populating a single value into an edit box control. So let's get started. First thing that you'll need to do is go to the openntf.org website and download uh, the view picklist custom control. This is a zip file and once you extract the contents of the zip file you will see that there is a view pickless NSF database. You will need to open this up in your Domino designer. For those who are curious, I am testing this in the in Lotus Notes version 8.5.2 and Firefox 3.6. Alright. So once you have this open up in your Domino designer, you will need to copy over the following seven design elements into your database. And they are as follows. Under custom controls, the view pick list. Under script libraries, the dialog component. Under files, the add, cross and delete PNGs. And finally, under style sheets, the two style sheets that you see over here. So they need to go into your database. Once you've done that, we can then go and create an X page. But before we do that, I just want to show you the view that I'm going to reference inside this uh, X page and pick list control. It's a simple view with three columns. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the first two columns, task description and time spent. An important note over here, and you're going to need to know this when you set up the custom control. You need to reference these view columns, not by their names or IDs, but by their column index numbers and they start at zero. So task description is column index zero, time spent is column index one. Right, so we got that out of the way. Let's go and create an X page. I'm going to call it X pick list demo. And I'm going to reference the view I just showed you now. There you go. And click on OK. So we just need to do two things to the actual X page. Number one, we need to go and add the two style sheets that we copied over. There you go. And then under all properties, we need to go and set dojo pass on load and dojo theme to the value of true. There you go with that. Excellent. So now that that's done, we can continue. We let's drag an edit box control. It's going to have a default name of input text one. I'm going to copy this value because I'm going to need it later on. And then under custom controls, I'm going to drag over the view pick list and put it next to my edit box control. There you go. So we're almost done. The only thing that we need to do now is populate some of the properties of the view pick list custom control. So let's start with dialog ID. I'm just going to call it dialog one. Um, if you reference, if you add more than one pickless custom control to your X page, it's important that this ID is unique per custom uh, per pick list. Okay, title we're going to just say timesheets. Dialog width we're going to leave. Field name this is our edit box control, so I'm just going to paste that ID over there. Um, everything stays the same over here. We're going to open dialog with a button. You can also choose a link over there. Refresh ID in this example, this will be the same ID as the edit box control and it is a single value. So now we can move on to the data source section and we're going to just link it to the data source we created. We'll keep rows per page at 10. You can change this to whatever you like. We're going to be selecting the column value and here is the only part that gets a touch tricky because here you need to go and add every column entry you want to reference and we want to reference two as per my previous uh, mention. So I'm going to go and create a view entry over here and you'll see that it gets an index value of zero. Ironically, in this case, I want to reference view column zero, task description. I'm going to add another one because I also want to reference time spent, which is view column index one. Just to show everyone again, view column index zero, view column index one. Great. So we go back over here. And now we select this property select column refers to this index value over here. Which one of these in uh, view columns are we going to want to populate into the edit box control? And in this example, I want to populate the first one. So I reference this zero. There you go. Where did my data source go? Come back. Thank you. All right. The only thing that we need to do now is populate a label for our button that will be next to the control. And we say select um, sheet. And that's that. You can save your X page, preview it in the browser, and you'll see something along the lines of this. There's our edit box control, and if we click on select timesheet, 
there is a very good looking pick list that uh, that has its own paging option over here if you have more than 10 values uh, per page and all you need to do in order to select one of these values is click on one of these icons and that's that so I hope this was valuable to everyone I want to thank Mark Hughes for developing this absolutely fantastic custom control I really really enjoy it and I'm using it a lot um, it's important to note that you can do a lot more with this Pickless custom control and um, hopefully I can post a few more examples in the very near future so yeah just thank you once again to everyone and enjoy